because we've got Branny to talk to. And we'll yeah. play his single now. Let's play his single and chat to him after this. Have you have you heard this single yet, Tony? Uh, I don't think so. You are in for a treat right now. This is how to make a music video. Watch this, folks, and we'll see you in two and a half glorious minutes of Branny and his new single, Love Spell. It's all about the love here on Good Morning Oh, my word. Yes, here he is. The man himself, Branny. Good morning. Welcome to the Good Morning Portugal Show. How are you? Good morning, guys. I am awesome. How are you guys? You are you awesome. Are, you, are awesome. you are awesome. You are awesome. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Listen, I've got hair just like you, but I choose to shave it off. <laughs> Good man. It's Good true. man. Good man. <laughs> and he's even got a video about it. <laughs> he really he does. He's got a video about that. Branny, how are you? How's it going with the new single? Um, hey Carl, everything is going well. I'm very, very happy because as you know, or as you might have known, we were supposed to release it on the 28th, which was a Friday. Yeah. We did release it, but the party got cancelled because you might remember it was raining cats and dogs. And so we had to postpone it for last Wednesday. It was an outside venue and uh, we thought, oh no, what's going to happen? But in the end, we had a very nice amount of people show up. It was great to have that kind of support. Uh, we made it a very, very fun show. There were a lot of laughs. There were a lot of good vibes. Um, it's possible to see all the photos and things on my social media. So we are very, very happy. And I was just about promoting the single a little bit, showing it to people and keep going as always, you know. Fantastic. And we'll, we'll learn more about your message because you are such an uplifting man. Uh, you, 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 I think that we were talking about niches earlier on. I think your niche um is to be spreading love and joy through your music and i think you do that so wonderfully and we are delighted to have you here in portugal thank you, thank um, you. and unfortunately you you uh, it sounds like uh, when you first launched a single it was a rainy day but you had one of the 200 days of sunshine that we get in portugal <laughs> at least on the second launch yeah <laughs> it's exactly been downgraded. it's been downgraded now to 200 yeah, and that, indeed. That, might, that might be an overestimate as well the way things are going so, so you, but you had a great time and the theme that i wrote about because um i love I, I love your music and I, I was delighted to share the fact that you got a new single out 
here on the show and over at the Portugal resident as well. And when I was writing about you, you were talking about this motif of the road trip and your life being, well, the metaphor of life being a road trip. Tell us mm. more about that and how you see it and a little bit about your background and your own personal road trip that brought you to Portugal. Yeah. Um, no, thanks. Good question. By the way, thank you for that article. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Absolutely. I, <laughs> basically, uh, the idea behind that, and it's also something that my, my team helped me come up with, is um, my background is that in my first 18 years, I grew up in about six or seven countries, you know? And so from the very, very beginning of my life, I started moving around and it started feeling a lot like an adventure. And uh, I kind of got this idea that the only way to go is forward, you know, and that it's always important to be positive. And uh, that's what we wanted to transmit through my music because that's basically how I write my music based on my own personal experience such as that. Yeah. And at the same time, I feel that in some way or another, everybody's life is kind of a road trip, a yes. journey or yes. an adventure, you know. Uh, I believe even if you stay in your own 10 square miles or kilometers, your life is still an adventure. So much happens, etc. cetera. Um, and so that's kind of the vibe and the image that we wanted to project, something that is real to kind of project it into the brand and into the music, along yeah. with what I did in my last EP, as you might remember, Carl, with Let Love Grow, which yes. for which the whole idea behind it was for people to prioritize the things that make them happy, that yeah. the, the, the people that make them happy, the places, the activities, which is why, for an example, we chose to project that message because my life in Portugal and how I came here was the result of me prioritizing doing my music, which yeah. had its ups and downs and which brought me to my dream life, which is basically playing four or five shows a night in pubs, being close to the beach, surfing, having a lovely family, and having a lovely community here of both locals and expats um, supporting me and just that that exchange of energy, that exchange of supports. Uh, I was very inspired by that, and I wanted to project that in uh, Let Love Grow and in Love Spell and in all of my music. And, and, and I love that, and 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 it's coming true, isn't it? I mean, it, it, there are a number of themes there that would be lovely to pick up on, and I'm sure Tony here, the Portuguese, can can relate to growing up in uh, more than one country as a child, or having having mm. a, a like a diverse experience in childhood of of moving yeah. around the world. So, where are you, where are you from, Brenny? Uh, I'm from? originally. I was born, and my parents are Croatian, so I'm originally right, right, Croatian. Right. Yeah. yeah, but uh, already at four or five, we started moving, and that road trip of mine in those first 18 years took me to mm. Finland, England, the yeah. USA, uh, Germany, and eventually to the Netherlands as well. Yeah. So all in those 18 years. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. But I guess why I'm asking is because I have a similar experience. Sometimes when people ask me that question, I'm like, oh, God, because uh, my <laughs> accent doesn't really match where i automatic because i was born in south south london in it but as anyone will tell you i don't sound anything like i'm from south london he's got the attitude though he's got the attitude so, so it's kind I of get like that, a, yeah i get that a lot it's like oh your yeah. accent hmm you know and then people try to place yeah. you people try to place you indeed yeah very relatable very very relatable yeah. indeed yeah there's no yeah. short answer right you know yeah yeah, ex yeah. and it's it's I, I i don't know if you have the same thing but when people ask me where i'm from it's not that i'm offended it's like oh no this is going to be complicated this again you know yeah yeah, yeah. 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 you yeah. know because yeah yeah it's 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 yeah. it's very very hard to answer that question it's a long because story some, some, sometimes yeah. i get tempted to say australia cuz that'll just end it yeah, sure. and I don't feel as I don't feel Australian, but that's my accent. Yeah. You know, so yeah. It's, it's, yeah. yeah, it's it's difficult. I get it. I, get I feel it. you there, man. I feel you there. It's but hey, we're also I I feel that along with those complications, I feel that we're very rich. I'm sure you have a similar experience, oh, like sure, absolutely. because of those because of those um, movings around and whatnot. Like you got friends everywhere, which yeah, I yeah, think yeah. is is a very very big wealth. You know, like yeah, yeah, very yeah. very big wealth. So. Yeah. However, though, Brenny, look, it sounds like your road tripping vibe and your great international sense of being has been somewhat checked by your arrival here in Portugal. You've fallen in love here. The country, I think, is, is slowly falling in love with you. I mean, those who see you, your, your infectious stage presence, your brilliant music, people who see you can relate to that straight away. And I think more and more people are finding out about that. And that's what I mean about the country 
uh, is falling in love with you. And I'm sure he's delighted and very proud to have you as, as a resident here doing that. Thank you. How is that process going? I mean, uh, do you see this as home for a little while now? And, and your road tripping days, you, you've pulled in for a sort of pit stop? Or, or, or what, how would you describe Portugal as part of your journey? Carl, that's a very good question. And I didn't get back to another part of what you asked me before. So just to give a little background to that. Sure. So the, re the reason that I'm in this country is right about two years ago, my partner, uh, who is Portuguese, she's actually from around the Lourinha area. Um, we were having, we were visiting her family and a cousin of hers said, you guys should totally uh, sign up Granny to the Portuguese American Idol or yep. Idol as it's called here. Yeah. And so we got in, uh, it was a very crazy story because we were just recovering from COVID. We got in the last audition and we drove halfway across Europe from Germany. We made the last audition. We planned for me to, uh, for me and for us to stay here for about a month, a month and a half, see how the TV show goes and go back. However, that casting happened to be one of my favorite moments of my life. It was a beautiful electricity and vibration in the air. The jury was dancing. The whole camera crew was dancing and the production team put me on TV a lot. And this right. opened up many doors for me. So after about two months of being here, we decided why the hell would we go back? Let's stay here. And so my entrance into this country was very, very kind of spectacular or grand, if you will, because there was TV support. I came in right at, right at that sweet spot before summer, which is the right time to start asking and looking for gigs. So it all happened very, very spontaneously, you know. That's it. And, and there uh, you are, Portuguese telly, right? Yeah, there. exactly. So that's, that's Tatanka from Black Mamba, who's been on Eurovision. That's <laughs> right next to me on my, on the left is Anna Bacalhau, who is, really a local legend she yep. um what a yeah, name she, she, Anna Bacalhau. <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly that, that, then on the right okay. on the right is joana march who is uh, actually the number one or number two comedian in portugal right now who i had the privilege to open up my release party let love grow for and that's uh, martin Tavares, who is like a grand maestro of classical music you know and this experience like i said it opened a lot of doors for me and basically got us to stay like three or four months in I was already speaking broken Portuguese, having regular shows, and really integrating into the society. And since then, there's been some cool things, like I released that EP, I opened up for a few more big artists, and we keep doing things. And basically, to cut the long story short, Carl, I have to guiltily admit to you that I'm so cozy and so settled that even driving to Lisbon, so, that even driving to Lisbon sometimes is a hassle. So, which is like just about an hour away. So my, my I definitely, my road trip has finally, which, I, which I've been projecting in my social media, my road trip has found a base. And I feel so, so at mm. home here. This is the place where I would have children. Um, mm. also, also for that context, I have a Portuguese family. Huh? So Fantastic. that's also a big factor. So I just yeah. feel great here. I want to stay here, grow here. I'm very open to going and touring in all around the world. Knock on wood, right? Yeah, but yeah. I've definitely found my base here, and I really, really like this country for on so many different levels. You know, that's so beautiful to hear. And I, to we, we, and of course, we understand why. That's wonderful, and I totally feel you. With you, we can become very local, can't you? I've got a mate yeah. who lives in the Algarve, who I know from UK, and uh, we've all, we've both been here for years, and we've we saw each other in the UK, but we haven't seen each other since we've been here for I don't know five years or so. And that's because he lives in the Algarve. It's just too far away. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, back, back in back, back in Germany or in the Netherlands, for an example, it wouldn't be that different for me to drive for two hours to see a friend. Right. You know, but here somehow uh, everything really kind of grounds you and there's so much going on in your own 10 or 20 square kilometers that, yeah, you feel more settled indeed. At least that's my own subjective experience, you know. Well, st mm. staying with this and road, road trip in a state of mind, yeah, that's absolutely right, I think. Um, it is a state of mind. And, of course, you know, you, you'll be using this as a base to tour the world uh, as, as all goes well and develops with, with your career. And also, I mean, it's your thing. It's, you, it's how you see the world. It's what you're sharing with people. And I think, is it fair to say that you're encouraging other people to do that as well? It's not just like, look at me, I'm the, I'm the road trip in rock star. You, you're, no. you're sharing yeah. that as a way of seeing life, aren't you, with other people? To, to, uh, to... Absolutely. And that's, and that's the whole idea. And that's kind of what's behind my message. It's yeah. to go for the things that inspire you. That being said, people are different. So some people may not be road tripping people. But like I said, you can have adventures in your own 10 square kilometers playing chess. The point is for you to go past your own boundaries 
to make yes. yourself happier. You know what I mean? Whether yeah. that is backpacking around the world, playing an instrument, playing chess, like the point is to go for the things that really inspire you. And in my case, that is indeed what you said, road tripping and playing music. For someone else, it might be something else. But the point is, go for it. Let and I like to say, I like to say, let love grow, which means let the things in your life that inspire you grow. Don't be afraid. Go for them. You know. Loving that. Me and Tony, I'm, I speak for. I'm going to speak on behalf of the Portuguese here. We're loving that message. We need more of that in the world. How Brandy, is, I have to say, I loved in the video when you kicked that table over because there's not enough of that. Me too. I, 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 me too. I, 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 when, when I, when I was a young fella, not that long ago. Um, I remember when rock stars were throwing TVs out of hotel windows and all of that seems to have stopped now. So I, I'm very partial to a bit of table over kicking. That was possibly yeah. my favorite part of that excellent video. So thank who you. Did, we're we're, did, we're very proud of the video. Production? Who did the video? Because it was obviously a professional production. Yeah, who okay. did the video? Thank you. Thank you. By the way, that's our that's our video crew who works a lot also with our municipality over in Norinha. They're called Alva. They're very wow. talented. And I would just like to take this moment to give a shout out to the lovely couple of the video. Because yeah. believe it or not, guys, they never took an acting class. Ever. Really? Wow. And I think wow. I think they pulled it off very, very naturally. You know, they look yeah. really good. They're really projecting a vibe. They're good friends of ours from Ribamar, which is around Dorinha. Local, mm -hmm. local young, uh, a local young couple. Uh, and yeah, I think they did a really, really fantastic job. So yeah, they yeah, are yeah. a couple, couple, are they? They, they the are a couple because we also felt, Carl, that for those kinds of scenes, you want to be with somebody that you already feel comfortable with. You know it, what I mean? It came across. Yeah. Love was definitely growing. And we, and we <laughs> Yeah, it's a good it's a good video when it's a story like that. I think that's quite important uh, in in a video for it to be, have a kind of a some kind of motion like a video yeah. in a, a process. So it was really cool. I, yeah. I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a look guys. at the comments coming in. Wow, that's a great song, but excellent video. I love the husky voice rock rock theme. I think that is meant to say they're fantastic, Granny. Um, love, Thanks. thank you for that love the ride cruising in the cabrio in the summertime uh squire of the shire is loving the, the theme of the video as well and by randy spotting a lot of old geezers did spot this nice yeah. cabriolet rock and roll baby did you notice that straight away tony well uh, again that's something else i would comment on a lot of uh rock videos and uh, pop videos and rap videos in particular they go for this kind of flashy um you know the kind of million dollar mercedes look and all that so it's nice to see a kind of more down-to-earth fun it had a real fun vibe to it that's what i really liked yeah it just felt Thanks. like a lot of fun you know and it was kind of a bit um at the same time as being kind of dreamy and sunny it was kind of down to earth as well so i, re I thought it was relatable really cool. absolutely yeah. 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 And, that, and that's also our objective we're really trying to show where we are right now and we're very happy with where we are you know mm. so indeed it's it, we had a lot of fun because these all of these people in the video are our friends and that's also what we want to project you know we're not too preoccupied with trying to show that we've got it a mercedes across, or it comes across yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. you know yeah and the best of both worlds you know let love grow and love where you are right now definitely coming across from the brandy message there uh the portuguese springsteen you're getting a, a, that uh comparison <laughs> is pretty awesome isn't it and joao and Ernesto are also asking how many languages you speak portuguese is so just I, that to repertoire isn't it yeah, I speak uh, Croatian, English, German, and pretty solid, very solid Portuguese already for two years. Uh, in my road trip, I also learned Finnish when I was little because we lived in Finland and then forgot Croatian. And my parents were annoyed because they couldn't understand me. So then they put me in an English kindergarten in Finland. So I, in the I meantime, know. forgot Finnish. But I, <laughs> they were like, you know, let's put him into a kindergarten with a language that we can understand back to us, you know. And then I had to relearn Croatian later, etc. But yeah, so right now it's four languages. Brandy, isn't there some relationship between Croatian and Finnish? Isn't isn't that uh, like there's some common ground between? I mean, because fin I know fin Finland is the outlier in Scandinavia, isn't it? Because yeah. I lived in Denmark and Sweden for a while, and okay. um, you know, I remember going to a a, a course in Sweden that was taught by a Danish trainer and everyone could understand the guy because they're so similar. But then Finland is just completely, yeah. Finnish language is completely different. Yeah, And I, I heard that it has more in common with like Hungarian and kind of down that line. 
it's yeah. i'll tell you something it's a very different language group and it's an old language group it's not mm. having anything in common with croatian as far as i know because croatian right. is quite a slav it's a slavic language oh, however okay. you heard you heard rights about hungarian because finnish hungarian and estonian are a very strange and unique outlier in the language groups of europe they're not in the latin the Slavic or the Germanic one, you know? Yeah. And it's very old and very, very unusual, like you said. Um, but yes, so not too much relation with uh, with Croatian, but with Hungarian right. indeed and Estonian. Yeah, okay, but thank very you. interesting topic, actually. It's a very interesting language. I, I'm an English teacher, so I'm, I, could, I could always go off on some tangent about languages, <laughs> language groups, but probably you just Charles, did. Charles, Charles you, giving you, me that look. Yeah, like, please <laughs> stop. <laughs> Come on. Um, well, you, also, you should add to your, your list the language of love and the la international language of music should be on your list as well, there, Brandy. And you mentioned Thank your mum and dad. The, um, the, one of the inspirations that you cite uh, when, I, when I was researching your backstory um, was that you, you got a mixtape from your dad, a cassette. It's, I mean, immediately thought of the opening scene of Guardians of the Galaxy where you put in the. I was thinking the same. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and. Um, what was on that tape that your dad gave you of, of the rock classics? Can you tell us what a few of the tunes were? Of course. Uh, yeah, it, it, I think he gave it to me when I was about nine or ten. And, uh, you know, it had it, it was a combination of a lot of things of our lives. So there were three Zeppelin tracks from the second Zeppelin album. You know, right. there was a lot of George Thorogood and the Destroyers because we had just come back oh, from yeah. the States. You know, there was um, some Bowie, some Iggy Pop. Uh, of, of course, like I think the first side began with We Will Rock You Queen and the second song was Smoke on the Water. Uh, you know, that kind, that kind of stuff. And I was just blown away. And by the way, I like many kinds of music genres, you know, but that one is really where the love for music comes from for me because, of course, it's a great craft, rock and roll music, no doubt about it. Great production, great musicianship. But what I get most from rock and roll music of that time is actually um, uh, the spirit of it, which I think kind of came into me, which is the self-expression, the going your own way, the freedom, you know? That's what I find most inspirational about the music of that time, 60s and 70s rock. So it really, really made me fall in love with that kind of spirit, if you will, you know? I, I totally understand that. It makes complete yeah. sense. And I, I want to see that in the movie of your life as well, because that's going to work so well. <laughs> With you listening to that mixtape. Uh, just finally, and, and I thought you were only going to pop on for a few minutes and we were going to play the single, but it's been great to hang out with you and have a chat. Oh, thanks. Yeah, likewise. Where, where next? How can people stay in touch and find out where you're playing next, Brenny? Yeah, good question, Carl. Just two things. So number one, I'm, I'm announcing all of my stuff on social media. So if you look for Brani, B-R-A-N-I dot P-T on Instagram, yeah. you'll find me. And yeah. if you look for Brani slash my full name, which I'll send to you later, because it's a bit longer, so people won't remember it. Um, I announce all of my stuff on Facebook and on Instagram. Now, I'm playing pub, pub shows around Oeste all summer. However, the big next stop at my on my um, uh, road trip is going to be on the 8th of September when I release my next single, which, by the way, will be a continuation of this single, Love Spell, at Prohibition Bar, where we're going to organize an orphan party. Exactly. So we're very, very excited about that. We're very excited to be cooperating for them on that. We like their vibe. We like their image, you know, and I think we're both kind of different. So it's going to be a good little combination of forces. And I really can't wait for that party. So that's the, come, of that's the 8th of September. Come. It's going to be awesome. All right, mean, well, there, there, there's the thing then. Um, if you've ever wanted to visit Obidosh, and you've heard about the Prohibition Bar, and now you want to hear Branny's music. That weekend would be an amazing weekend to come to, to Obidosh and spend the weekend, hear some music, have a drink in the Prohibition Beer Garden, and have some amazing food. That's going to be an incredible weekend, Branny. I will, I'll do my utmost. If I'm not booked up anywhere else, I will be there um, with you. I think no I worries, be, man. I know you're I, a busy guy. Thanks for the support. Well, I, <laughs> oh, I, I, Branny, you did, you did well with the socials, my friend. You really did you well think so? that. Are, are well, you looking you know, at it you know, now? I, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it now. It looks awesome. I think um, <laughs> it's, it's going to be good for you. And but I also think, wow, you got lucky with your name, Branny PT, right? Yeah, as well. You must, have, but, you must have thought the gods were smiling on you when you when you went indeed, for that. Because, but but yeah. let me tell you something. Thank you for your compliment. But that compliment absolutely goes to my partner and manager, Christiana. Right? Yeah, She's yeah. that special girl who joined my road trip some years ago. 
that's her doing. She's she's doing all of the social media, and she's got such good ideas. And she yeah. she also announced um, she also announced the, the next steps in the last release. And I don't want to take too much of your time, Carl. I just want to give you a it's little fine. teaser. Absolutely fine. I just want to give you a little teaser that after that, uh, on this, I can't reveal too much yet, also because it's in the pre-planning page. But on the sixth of October, right? Um, we want to do something back for this amazing community that's given us so much. We're actually we're actually organizing a festival called the Let Love Grow Festival, no. and I will leave you. Yes, but I will leave you with that. More more on that later because now the next step is that single release, but it's going to be awesome, and we're very excited about it. Well, it's about twenty thousand steps from where he lives, uh, the Portuguese <laughs> to Obidosh. So hopefully he'll be able to join us for that. Brandon, you legend! Fantastic to talk to you this morning. We'll see you soon. Thank you. See all you right, soon, guys. You. All the best. Thanks for having me. Cheers. Wow, what a legend, eh? He is awesome. He's awesome. What a character as well. Yeah, so I like him. I tell you what, I don't know if you noticed in the picture. I like. I don't know. I can't remember if it's PC or not to talk about people's height anymore. Oh, but I go. noticed um, he must be about eight feet tall. Even in the even in the camera, he was. Uh, he's obviously the top of his head's touching the ceiling. When he was talking like, about starting a family in Portugal, I was thinking of a beautiful picture of him, eight feet tall, man, music <laughs> man mountain, and a tiny little baby on his chest. That's going to be the most beautiful image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's, he's a beautiful. big guy. Because I, I noticed the uh, comedian that he was talking about in the picture was standing on quite a high step and was yep. still only up, up to his... Uh, Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah. Look, there you go. On the he didn't yeah. want to be outdone, did he? The other, the guy, no. the panelist, did not want to be outdone. Well, I, I, the thing is, I was, I was about to comment. I was going to say that'd be me standing on that step, and I thought, oh, I don't know if I know the guy well enough to comment. On <laughs> Next this. time. Next yeah. time. Look, we've got mindful moments and God Squad tips of the day. Let's do that God Squad tip of the day to go with your 20,000 steps. Making a little exercise, a regular habit is the best way to make sure you won't, you will do it. I'm certain if you, if I didn't walk to enjoy my coffee most days, I probably wouldn't do it. What <laughs> treat can you give yourself to encourage you to do some physical activity? For the Portuguese, he gets to advertise himself for three hours. Uh, maybe you need to build that into your life. Note to self, coffee is a lot cheaper in Portugal. Well, that's true. It's depressing going out for a coffee in the UK, isn't it? You, you have to spend about 20 quid once you've got a bit of cake as well. Uh, bon dia, he says, training this afternoon, then home early to pack the car. 5 a.m. start tomorrow. Should be a great weekend in Zandvoort. It won't be a great weekend in the Netherlands. It's going to be quite miserable over there. And we all know why, Portuguese. Mindful moment. Patience is a form of wisdom. It demonstrates that we understand and accept the fact that sometimes things must unfold in their own time. And that's from a book with the amazing title, Full Catastrophe Living, which brings us full circle to a world that doesn't make sense sometimes. John Kabat-Zinn's book there. And to finish, finally, and sorry if we didn't get to any of your comments, which many of which were fabulous this morning. And um, as, as you could see, we had a packed show with loads to talk about. Um, and if you feel underrepresented, <laughs> join me on the screen sometime. And we'll, we'll make sure that you feel fully represented and self-expressed. Mindful dad joke, the unwritten rules of life. One and two. Oh, God. hoo -ah! Hey, that just reminds me, listen, on a serious note, uh, j just this is a serious note um, about checking, you know, those of you who've got insurance in Portugal. Sorry, just reminded me, I'll get a bit serious now. But I checked my I checked my insurance policy the other day and uh, you won't believe what I found out. If someone what burgles, did you find out, Tony? OK, well, if someone burgles my house and takes away my blankets, um, you never believe what will happen. No, what will happen if somebody breaks into your house and takes away all your blankets, Tony? <laughs> I won't be covered. <laughs> Bye. Thank you very much. Cha -cha. <laughs> Goodbye to him. We'll see him again next month. We didn't get to hear him play the ukulele. Maybe he'll do it for us next month. Cha-cha. Have a great day. Bye for now. See you on the webinars tonight.